joined in the studio by Eric Adam Agbana. Uh, Ag Agbanu or Agbana? Agbana. 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 All right. So right. uh, he's the deputy national youth organizer uh, of the NDC and also a spokesperson on the youth development uh, agenda of the NDC. Thank you for joining us this evening. Clearly, the NPP uh, has touted its record and says that when it comes to job creation, for instance, a number of the policies their government put in place, like NAPCO, planting for food and jobs, etc., has created 2 million jobs. And you are promising 2 million jobs as well. Is it just mere coincidence or is that, like he's saying, the NDC has nothing new to offer? Thank you very much and good evening to our viewers um, across the world. I'm surprised that the national youth wing of the NPP would want to engage in this kind of petty politicking, especially when they are seeking to tout the achievement records of a president who has failed and has failed miserably. A few weeks ago or months ago, the NDC decided to let the people of Ghana know our assessment of the performance of the Akufado government. We picked their 2016 manifesto, which is supposed to be the social contract that they had with the people of Ghana. Mm. It was based on that document that the people of Ghana voted for them. Out of the 631 promises they made in their 2016 manifesto, which was themed, change, an agenda for jobs, they were able to fulfill or are in the process of implementing or executing only 86 of those promises. 86 out of 631, clearly they have no moral right to start talking about issues of trust and issues of track record. That gave them an abysmal 14%. Is it, is it, is it, is, now, are you disputing that at least they created the jobs that they're saying? I'll go, I go into the when jobs, When it comes yes. to NAPCO, for instance, you and I can attend. Well, well, let, let me go into persons, the jobs. I'll go yes, into so, the so jobs. Let's that, go to specific. Let me go to the jobs that they listed. Herinana oh. Buachi ridiculously made mention of creating over 700,000, 778,000 jobs in the public sector. Oh. And I'm surprised that... Even the journalists who were at the press conference could not question him on that. Because when you look at Ghana's public sector, we have a total of about 650,000 people in the public sector. How is it that from independence to today, you have 650,000 people on the public sector, public payroll, and all of a sudden, MPP is claiming that they have created... 778,000 jobs. Was that what he said? Sector. That is what he said. You can check from their statement. In fact, that is the first item they even listed under job creation. 778,000 jobs in the public sector. Where are those jobs? In fact, if you even take... Is it, is it, are you saying it is impossible to making, create those number of jobs? I am making a reference. No, so, um, it, is not, it is not a matter of being possible or not possible. Mm. The matter is that it's a blatant lie because mm. I am telling you that. Mm. Let your production team check. Currently, Ghana has a total of about 650,000 people okay. in the public sector, mm -hmm. right from independence to today. How is it possible that all of a sudden MPP claims would, would, they have created 778,000 jobs? We'll try and verify if that, those were his exact words. Those as, as that is the public sector. You can check. The statement is there for you now, to check. Now, move on to, move on that, to, yes, move on to the, the other issue concerning... The, the MPP talks about jobs like planting for food and jobs. Mm. And they have actually said... So there is no admission that at that, least the jobs they have created that we are all witnesses to are not jobs for the youth? Is it? Well, what is your no, dispute here? My dispute is that it mm -hmm. is practically impossible mm -hmm. and a matter of blatant lie mm -hmm. for anybody to claim that they have created in three okay. years... Seven hundred and seventy. Right. Let's let's jobs let's go on to in, in, let's go on to the promise. When of, I know for a fact right. that the entire public sector, nurses, teachers, it's less doctors, than that. You met you made that point less already. Than that. Let's go on to the, the promises. The planting. promises of the NDC themselves for the youth, because clearly you are a government that you are you know a party that is seeking the mandate of the Ghanaian people. What are the promises key amongst, uh, especially when it comes to youth? In the People's Manifesto that we launched on Monday. We have a number of promises for young people. One, we have promised to create a ministry for youth development. You ask me why is that important? The current status quo is that you have a ministry of youth and sports. And if you look at the delivery, and you do a delivery tracker for this ministry, the entire focus is on sports. And even that, the entire focus is on football. And even that, the focus is on the black stars. 
cold football has collapsed, women football, there's nothing that is mentioned and all of that. Mm. And when you even validate this by checking page 121 of the NPP manifesto, under the achievements of youth and sports, everything they have listed, but one, which is the NEIP, which is even the rebranding of the Yes Fund under John Mahama, every other thing they have listed as the achievement under youth and sports are sports related. You can check, you can collaborate. So yeah, we but, have but, realized. But, but that is that, the name of the of, that, the, of that, the of the that is the name of even the ministry, youth and sports. So no, and I'm it, saying it, that, it is not out I'm of place. That, and I'm saying that if, no. So that's why I'm saying that. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the Ghanaian population, you have a youth bulge. Seventy-four percent or more of your population are young people. Aspirational class, they need to be attended to, they have needs that must be catered for. Mm. We believe that a people's manifesto must reflect the will of the majority, which is the youth. Okay. So we are creating the Youth Development Ministry to focus on the implementation of youth-related policies mm -hmm. to, uh, to help the, the youth of this country. We are planning to enroll what we call the One Million Coders Program. You will understand the relevance of the digital economy. Today, during COVID-19, Zoom mm. became even what your station used to engage us as panelists. Mm. Now, when the young men who created Zoom, developed the app called Zoom, went to the IPO, people were willing, investors were willing to offer $40 billion mm. to buy their app. So the point you is... Know the, yeah, the point is that the digital economy is growing. Mm -hmm. And so we are investing in one million young people in the next four years by investing in them, teaching them how to learn coding, app development, and all of that. We are building their skill set to meet the needs of today. Okay. We are also planning so to that is, that will be that will agenda be, 1 million that will be your strategy. And jobs. That will be your strategy one, of creating jobs. No, there are many. If, I'm, I'm going no, to I mean, it's them. one of the many it is strategies one of them, you, and you will agree because with me that... Going through are, the N NDC manifesto, we have seen... I mean, you've made a litany of promises, which yes, uh, we believe... Yes, and I'm telling you how feasible per your, all of them are. Per your analysis, very, are achievable. All right, we'll, we'll have to leave it here for very, now. But very, very, very thank you. I think it's important for me to touch on the one million jobs. Mm -hmm. If you read SDG 8, the Sustainable Development Goal 8, it's which Ghana has subscribed to, and even mm. President Akufado is a co-chair of the SDG implementation. It says that we ought to, by 2030, give the young people of Ghana decent and sustainable jobs. NAPCO okay. is not one of them. The NDC is promising one million decent and sustainable jobs. How do you mean jobs, NAPCO is not one of them? NAPCO, NAPCO is, is You is believe that program. NAPCO is no, not a, a, a scheme it's, it's, that would give people Na, jobs that is sustainable? Has, NAPCO, NAPCO has a three-year mandate. Mm -hmm. For a job to be decent and sustainable, it must have job security. Does NAPCO have job security? You, no. Have, if you check, no. have you checked the entire value chain I, of the I, I NAPCO checked, jobs? I have checked. If you look because at NAPCO, from, I, I say from, that. From, from, from the, no, no, re relax. We have also gone through, especially after the launch, we got the documentation, the implementation yes. process. And along the value chain, mm -hmm. there are sustainable jobs that could be, that could be implemented. And they? even Na some of them as startups no. or the ones that government no. is creating that's, that's could is also it, be jobs. You see, you, you, see NAPCO... As so you cannot say they are for. not... NAPCO, all of it is NAPCO, not sustainable. NAPCO, 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 no, the entire NAPCO program is ending in three years. What mm. is the exit strategy? For a job to be decent and sustainable, it must have job security. It doesn't okay. have... Again, all right. even with NAPCO, it is Eric. what we call... It is what we call robbing Peter to pay Peter. Not robbing Peter to pay for. Now let me hey, explain to you. No, you it, tell it's us okay. that there is no we, space. I mean, in the certainly, sector. certainly, it is yeah, part I just of. Need to set no, no, a hold on, because, no, no, because you tell hold us that on. there's we, no. We'd we'll have no to space. leave it here for now. It's a news the, program, so for for lack of time, we'd have to leave it here for now and move on to some mm -hmm. other story. But thank you for making time to speak with us. Clearly, this is just a teaser of the many such discussions to come when we peruse promises of both parties, the NDC and the NPP. We were joined in studio by Eric Edem Agbana, Deputy National Youth Organizer of the NDC uh, joining us and giving us the party's reaction to what the youth, uh, uh, the youth wing of the NPP uh, brought out today at a news conference. This is still news at 10 on TV.